Hey everyone. So this morning I had what is probably going to make my week. So as a lot of people know, I work with a lot of North American colubrids and I especially love the pituophis. Yeah, I know. I know you're grumpy. We'll get to you in a second, I promise. And this pituophis are by far my favorite genus of North American colubrids. I love their personalities. I love their attitudes. I want to work with as many species as possible. And in that genus is Pituophis ruthveni, the Louisiana pine snake. It's the most endangered snake in uh, the United States. It's up there in some of the most endangered reptile species in the world. Um, I believe a species of racer in Central America is the most endangered species in North America, but the Louisiana pine snake is definitely that in the United States. And uh, if you follow along with a lot of reptile news, you may have seen recently that the Memphis Zoo just had a big hatching of a lot of these guys, and there's being a lot of really good reintroduction programs through the Memphis Zoo and the Orient Society and really awesome groups like that. And this morning, we had one little baby Ruth and I hatch out here. Um, we had a clutch go from our female Hopi, who is a Terry Vandervetten LASIK cross, uh, to try to outcross it. Basically, not basically, most of the uh, Louisiana pine snakes that we have in the hobby come from uh, LASIK, Vandervetten, or the Memphis Zoo. Um, you always know that you have a true Ruth and I, not an outcross with like a Kentucky pine or a bull snake because of the size of the eggs and how small of a clutch it is. Basically, if it's less than six eggs, you know that you got one. Like six is a big clutch, we had five, but unfortunately we had an incubation issue um, to where I really didn't know if any of them were gonna make it or not, but the fem but Hopi handled it really well, so we're gonna try again next year. Um, but just so you know, like this is the size of the, yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I know, I got startled. Um, this is the size of the egg that this little one was in. That's how big of an egg these are. So just to kind of show, like, that's how big they are. Ah! Ah, I know, you know, you're so grumpy. So yeah, just so you know, that's how big they are when they very first hatch out. So this is the only one um, out of the clutch of five. One egg went bad pretty quick, so only four eggs. Um, but we had an incubation issue about, oh, I think day 38-ish, where it got really cold. So I was really worried that these irons weren't gonna go. But yeah, we got this little one here. So Hopi, as I mentioned previously, is the LASIK Vandervetten cross. And then the male, who we don't have a name for, he's just a big jerk, um, is a LASIK Memphis Zoo cross. So we technically have in this little one, all three, I know all three of them in this little one. So it's not exactly how genetics works, but it basically be like 50% LASIK, 25% Vandervetten, and 25% Memphis Zoo. That's not exactly how stuff gets inherited, especially as we learn about like, you know, dog breeding and stuff like that. The same kind of holds true with reptiles. But yeah, you can see just how big these guys are, especially compared to like something like a corn snake or a milk snake or heck, even a lot of the other um, Pituofa species. These guys hatch out like this thing can eat a f like a fuzzy mouse right now. And that's exactly what she'll be offered in the next day or so. So, but yeah, this really made my day. Um, it's been absolutely nuts here, nonstop with all sorts of dumb stuff, both reptile, ranch, and uh, like personal related, so I haven't been posting as consistently. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that, you know, one of the rarest snakes in North America was born here at Jay-Z's Reptiles um, in our little reptile ranch, and I am super, super, super stoked to see this little one grow and get very big. Um, more than likely, uh, it will be made available, but we'll have to see for now. Um, and again, we'll be trying again next year, and I already have a better plan um, for a better incubator and a couple fail safes involved with that for next year. Um, we only have one more clutch of colubrids going this year. That's the rhino rat snake that I posted a little while ago. So hopefully they do really well. But yeah, I just wanted to show off for you guys just how cool, yeah, I know, just how cool and amazing these little guys are. I love them. I love them so much. Like, it's... It's really, really adorable. I love it. I love it so much. I'm super excited, you guys. I really, really am. So uh, stay tuned for more updates for everything as well as this little one. I know it's going to do really, really well. No, I haven't sexed it, although um, I'm going to bet it's a male, but we'll have to see. 
But yeah, uh, fingers crossed this one does well. Fingers crossed that everything goes well next year for more breeding for these guys as well. Stay tuned for more reptile updates. Hope you all are having a great day, and we will check you next time.